Hello, and welcome to Tag Technologies Product Branding Showcase. Hi, I'm Chris Dixon. Today we're going to show you how to decorate a powder coated bike frame using our unique DuraTag ink transfer technology. For the procedure tag process. Okay, once our frame is clean, first thing that we'll do is we'll take our transfer. This one is sized to go in this location on the chainstay. We're going to activate it in our Blend 21 activator for three to five seconds. We'll put it on our part. Again, it's been die cut so that it matches up the configuration or the shape of the frame. And we're going to simply squeegee from the center of the transfer out to one edge and then center of the transfer out to the other edge. Now in this area here it's a little tight where we come up against the cable guide so we'll have to kind of force the squeegee into that area. Then we're going to let that transfer sit for 15 to 30 seconds. There's a coating placed on the paper that holds the ink in place for that 15 to 30 seconds. That gives the operator plenty of time to locate and squeegee down the transfer. So after that time, we can go ahead and peel away the carrier paper and you can see the application is complete. At this point, we're going to take a sponge, we're going to wring out about half the water, and we're simply going to wipe down the application to neutralize the activator. It will also remove any of that release agent that's coated on the paper. Now we'll move to our next application, which is going to be on the inside of this frame. And again, this too has been die cut to, to conform to the shape of the decal area. Again, we activate the transfer for three to five seconds. We put it in position. We can run our fingertips down the transfer to just temporarily set it in place. Then we'll take our squeegee and from the center of the transfer, we'll go out from one edge to the other and then we'll work in reverse. Okay. Again, this is tight in here. You can use your fingertips to squeegee it down, uh, but we want to really try to work the squeegee edge, which is a little firmer, sharper edge than your fingertip, and just form it into that area. Okay. At that point, again, we would wait the 15 to 30 seconds for the ink to release from the paper. Now, if you didn't want to just wait for that, you can move on to another application, apply that transfer, and then come back to the previous transfer. So here we've had enough time. We're going to just grab the edge of the paper. We're going to pull it back at 160 to 180 degrees. Again, when we finish the application, we're just going to use a, a water wet sponge and we're going to wipe down the transfer. Okay, at this point, we're going to just turn our frame, reposition the camera so you can see us decorate the other side. Okay, we flipped our frame and now we're going to decorate the opposite locations on the tail end of the frame. Again, we take our transfer and we submerge it ink side down in our Blend 21 activator for three to five seconds. We place it on our frame. We can use our fingertips to get it located where we need it. We'll just take our squeegee and again from the center of the transfer out to one edge, center of the transfer out to the other edge. We'll set it in place. Okay, we've talked through that 15 to 30 second process. We can pull that transfer or that paper, squeeze out half the water off the sponge and wipe down the transfer. Okay, we'll move on to the next application. And here we're going to go on the inside of the frame. We're going to activate the transfer again for three to five seconds. Put it in position. Again, using our fingertips, we can push the transfer in place, take our squeegee from the center of the transfer, go out one direction, and then go the opposite direction 
and here it's a little tight so we might have to again use our squeegee at a couple of different angles you can also use your fingertips to smooth it down and then we'll start to pull. When you're pulling the paper, if you feel any resistance, it just simply means that the release agent has not fully dissolved. Uh, you can wait a few more seconds and it will release completely. And again, we're just gonna wipe that off with our water wet sponge. I hope this video helps you understand the Duratag ink transfer process. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Again, my name is Chris Dixon with Tag Technologies. You can reach me via email at cdixon at tagtech-llc.com or you can call me at 815-363-7030. Thank you.